Hey everyone, welcome back to another one of my videos. Today we are doing the back side of the headboard on Project Sandman. We're gonna do a Black Galaxy Supernova Edition. Right here you can see me lay down the flat uh, spray paint for paint and primer from Rustoleum that goes on the headboard. Uh, at the bottom of the headboard we have a 2x6 then we have a uh, 3 quarter inch MDF with another 3 quarter inch MDF strip on the top glued and nailed to it and you also have the two poles that are on the other side that are not visible here so I lay down the spray to make sure that it's more or less uh, uh, e equal yeah then I will put a little bit of the stone spray paint on top to simulate the stars and I will get the uh, iridescent mica to draw the, the supernova. I already did the blue core with a little bit of purple around it and uh, you can see me here how I'm smearing the mica powder directly on the surface. Just dip my finger in the bag and then <coughs> sorry about that and then just smear it on it um, it's straightforward as that here I'm trying to figure out which way to go with those uh, bits of powder that got away from me and I decided to make them look like a, a um, an explosion that's coming from the core Yeah, you just go with it, you don't have to be afraid of it, just put a little bit on there and just smear it and there you go. You have either a nebula or in this case, like I said, I'm building kind of a supernova. Okay, so I finished with the purple. Next one would be the, the green. Same thing, just dip the finger in there, smear it. At one point I get bored of it and I just put the powder on the on the surface and smear it. Everything is going from the inside towards the outside because as you will see it 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 registers that motion. A really light powder it goes everywhere so have to be a little bit careful with it it doesn't have to be symmetrical because it's nature you know and like my quiz said punch perfection in the face I'm going all over it here's where I get bored and I just pour the, the mica on the table and then smear it out. It works way faster. <laughs> and as I go, it just keeps getting better and better. After this, we, we're gonna switch to the to the gold powder and do the outer layer. Here we go. And I wanted to simulate those coronal mass ejections from a star where they go out into the space and then they curve back on their magnetic field and, and fall right back into the corona. So that's why I'm doing these semicircles. We do a few of that and then we, we're gonna pour some powder again. We, me, <laughs> I'm gonna pour some, some more powder on the surface. 
the the paint is just dry to the touch it had about half an hour 40 minutes to to dry and then i i put the stone spray and afterwards i started working with the with the mica powder keep building it keep smearing it making more and more the star itself came out bigger than what i was expecting but then again it's the back of the headboard so it's not gonna be that much visible well i guess it would depend on the client where they would put the bed you know some beds don't have anything on the back at all they have just that boring cloth on the back that gets disintegrated in time or by cats in my case <laughs> here we go more and more keep building it putting powder like this is a two-edged sword because you can drop too much on the board and then the color will be too solid or it could go in places you don't want it to go so be careful when you're doing that you need just a little tiny tiny little bit on the table you can use foam you can use your finger you can use a brush just like I said make just a tiny little bit because in large quantities it loses its color and also you need a black or dark background because if you put it on white they will not be visible I tried that with uh, Project Brutus and it didn't work so now it's all done you can see it it looks kind of nice but once I put the clear resin with a little bit of diamond dust in it it will come to life here I am getting the same mica powders that were dissolved uh, in a pretty big concentration in some alcohol, uh, isopropyl alcohol. And then I put them in a bottle uh, with, uh, with a needle, uh, the ones that are used to refill the, the ink cartridges. I think I got them from Wish or something like that. So I... I put them uh, on the table. Remember to squeeze the bottle. Don't don't be stingy with it. Otherwise, you'll get the squiggly one like I just did there. And what I'm doing with my hands, I'm trying to see where the next line would go so I don't repeat the colors next to each other too much. But I still am <clears throat> end up doing that. Also, I should have used yellow next. Uh, I put red and purple next to each other and they don't look that much different. Green, yellow and then I end up putting blue next to blue. I don't know why. <laughs> Like I said, I'm putting the first line and then I'm figuring out how many lines until the, that same color would come up again. And then I take the next color and put it next to it and count the lines and do it then and keep going like that. So we got the X pattern like we have in the front with the uh, Baroque candy with the, with the gold. But this one is mica powders. We have a chicken wire like grid. on top of the supernova so I take out the spacers and here we are with the wet epoxy on top of it and afterwards this will go away and you will see the dried up result
so here we are the back is done this is how it looks like the supernova turned out even better than what I was expecting It's the iridescent just makes it come alive. So this is the Black Galaxy Supernova Edition. I love it. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. You like it? You hate it? What would you do different on it? That's it for now. Remember to like, share and subscribe to keep the internet alive. And like I said, come see me on the next one. Thanks and bye bye.